Hello everyone, welcome back to Bean TV. I'm sorry I couldn't make it up last year, but I promised to bring beautiful things this year. It's Wednesday again. My guest is here. He's a student of banking and finance in Olabisi on Obanjo University. So he'll be telling us more about banking and finance, especially in OOU. So join me as I welcome my guests. Welcome my guests. Kindly introduce yourself today. Yeah, good evening. My name is Oshofora Bluatife. A student of Olabi Sonopanjo University, Banking and Finance, 400 level. Thank you. So, how did the journey of Banking and Finance started in OOI? Yeah, the journey of Banking and Finance started when I was in secondary school. When I was in secondary school. I have always loved how bankers dress, their ties, their shoes and all. So, it has been one of my dreams to work as a banker when so, I thought it would, be, it would be better if I, I take it as a profession and as a duty. Wow. What can you enlighten us more about banking and finance in OU? Yeah, banking and finance is all in OU. To be very, very candid, it's, it's a wide course because you have to deal with a lot of theories and objectives, a lot of rules, a lot of constitution and all. It's not just because that you stop where your lecturer stops. You have to do more research, you know, go on Google, read books, textbook, holding these books and all that, just to, you know, widen your knowledge and all that. So you've been reading on holding these books, all this why, yeah. just to help in banking and finance. What advice would you give to someone coming up to study banking and finance in OU? Would you encourage the person to come so you start banking and finance. Exactly, I will encourage the person to come because you know you we have good lecturers. We have good lecturers. They will drill you to, to perfection. You you if if you are not the number one, you you be you be one three sharp. Let's just put it that way. Wow, that's nice. Is there any difference between accounting and banking and finance? A very slight difference. A very slight difference. I would say Students of banking and finance are more serious than accounting students. But to be candid, if you are a banking and finance student, you can cover, you can cover accounting, you can cover accounting, accounting work, you can cover their syllabus because you have the basic understanding of what accounting is right from secondary school. So it is easier for you to you know manage accounts, write balance, balance sheet, and all that until it gets to the professional stage, which you can still handle as a banker. Because all we are also doing is managing accounts and sourcing for funds. Yeah. Thank you. As a banking and finance student, is it a must you work in a bank? No, no, it is not a must you work in a bank. You studying banking and finance does not limit you to the desk of a bank. You can be a stockbroker, you can be a financial analyst, you can work anywhere. But not just anywhere, you can work as a chemistry teacher. So let's put, let's put that aside. You can always you work. You can work as a financial yeah. accounting teacher, yeah. commerce. commerce. You can work in an hospital. Yeah. You can work you can as an accountant. Yeah. 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 So, banking and finance, in what way has banking and finance helped you? Has it helped you a lot? Yeah, I would say banking and finance has helped me a lot because. When I before I gave that mission, I, I didn't have any idea about what business, finance, management is all about. I'm this type of person. I I spend easily. I spend easily. So through banking and finance, I have learned how to manage funds. Even in time of I am broke, I need money, and you know how to source for funds. It's just easy. manage it. Yeah, just manage it. It's easy like that. Do you know how do you feel when? You tell people you are studying banking and finance. You know, most people say, mm, Go steal us. Do you want to steal our money or you want to keep our money for us? Well, how do you feel and what do you tell them when they tell you that? Mm, I tell them with joy, I tell them with pride because being a banker is not, is not a child's play. It's not just any profession that anybody can, can, can go into. Being a banker, being a banking student, is, is a thing of the joy. It's, it's, it's just synonymous to you saying you are a medical student. So you know the pride that comes with you saying you are a banker with your ties, sky blue shirt, 
starched uh, shoes and all that it comes with a lot of pride oh you wear brown black in oh yeah the yes, viking has been yes, yes, yes. wow that's so nice for you, since there is difference between banking and finance and accounting, would you love to go for any professional course like CIBN or ICANN? Which would you love to go for? I, w I would love to go for CIBN because I want to focus more on my area. I want to focus more on, on being a chartered banker, being a chartered banker. It comes with a lot of joy if you are still on the same line with, with that banking you've studied right from the time from, from university. So, say I mean. so with all of this, you are saying you really love banking and finance and you are not leaving it for anything. I'm not leaving banking and finance for anything. And what if God calls you, what will you do? What will you later do? Calls me as what? Pastor? Banker? <laughs> I will call you as a pastor. As a pastor. Yeah, you can be a pastor and also work on, unless it is full-time ministry. Exactly. So if it is not full-time ministry, definitely I, will, I would love to be a banker alongside a pastor. Hmm, would you love to further masters in OU? Not in OU, not in OU, but I would love to further more on my masters. So, what is that important thing or essential thing you want to tell people about banking and finance? Yes, yeah, I, ju I just want to tell people that banking is life. Oh. Banking is life. Without banking, it is hard for any profession to rise because. We deal with money and money is life mm. so if we are not there for you there cannot be you so without banking without finance way of life will be very very hard way of life will be very very hard so try to study banking or something related to banking try and try to study if you cannot if it is not in your line try to study there are courses there are many courses that are based on finance crypto Forex, digital marketing, they are they are related. They are related. So banking banking has a wild branch that you can can you know jump into. Oh, that's good. Is there any lecturer that has helped you positively in banking and finance department? Yes, yes, that especially. I have always laid emphasis on that because my lecturer in who you are are just too good. Let me put it out just too good. They would, they would, you know, take you to different angles of life. You know, psychologically, they'll be there for you. Physically, they'll be there for you. In terms of strength, they'll be there for you. In terms of what you ought to know at the right time, at the right time, they would teach you, they would teach you that. So, my lecturers have always been there because I could remember back then in Andre Level days, we had one lecturer, Dr. Inisade. He came with a lot of positive mindset, you know. Mm. This we call it we call it street orientation. That you can always be good at everything you do. So far you are positive and then you channel all your energy in it. Thank you so much. Thank you for telling us more about banking and finance in OI. To add to that, I must say student of banking and finance in OI. Banking and finance is one of the most beautiful courses you can ever study. If you are in business class, most especially in Olabisi or Nobanja University, I go away. So, Mr. Boluatife, thank you so much for your time. The next segment is Sholaya. <laughs> That's the title of the segment. You'll we'll be asking me three questions. Oh. Do you have mine? Yeah, I have mine. You're a man, you should yeah. have mine. Yes, I have. I would have said you should pick, you should read it yourself. Yeah, I can read it myself. Don't read it yourself. Don't worry. You okay. might not see it. <laughs> okay, the first question. List three things you see in a lady before you approach her. A lady before I approach her. Number one, scent. You must smell nice. Number two, your dress sense. And approach in a way of me being close to that person as friend. I feel you must have something upstairs. You must have value. My first conversation with you must, you know, possess value. If you are not that type, then we are not going to be you know, close or get into it. Thank you. Number two question. What is Obako in Yoruba? What is the meaning of Obako? What does Yoruba people call Obako? Obako in Yoruba is like a rival. 
or is like a rival, I guess. A rival. A rival? Yeah. Mm, one family side, it's just like a polygamous Exactly, setting. like a polygamous family. Yeah. Um, same child from mother but not from father. From father yeah. That's what Yoba called Obako. And the third question, Mario mm -hmm. Wavy. Iji gogoro magu mi loju. Ako kigla tsu. Ah, that's so good. Three questions answered. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Boluati Fair. Back in the last two Oh, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for honoring my invitation. I do not take it for granted. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've come to the end of our program. Thanks, my viewers. Thanks for always watching. Thanks for the words of encouragement. I really appreciate it. And to my ever loving sponsors, thank you so much. Thanks for thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, see you next week, Wednesday. Bye. Yeah, until we meet you. Ah. <laughs> just cut, just cut, just.